Here's a quick overview of the Texture Capture function for Freeform 2013. Here's an element that we've sculpted flat. And if I bring up my object list, I'm going to take the visible pieces and combine them as new at the highest clay coarseness. Now I have my active piece, the final zipper. And I've drawn some curves to create a patch. The texture capture function is located in the SubD Surfaces palette, and the tool is called Face Texture. I call up the Dynabar and I select the surface that I want to texture. Next I come all the way down to this camera and I choose the image size. I'm going to choose 1024, the highest option, and then hit OK. Now you can see that the patch has changed colors to indicate that the grayscale has been created. So now I come down to save and I'll just place it on my desktop and call it zipper. Let's look at another example. Now in this example we have this set of laces and again I've drawn the curves for the patch and then created the patch. But if you notice this time the patch is in the middle of the elements that we want to capture. So this time we're going to capture in both directions. Using the same tool in the sub surfaces palette Face Chat Texture. I'm going to select the surface, capture clay displacement, and now let's look at the min and max depth. It's negative 2 and negative 2.76. Freeform 2013 automatically calculates the highest point and the lowest point of the texture that we're going to capture. So again I'll hit save this time calling it laces. And now you can see we've captured the texture from below the patch as well as on top of the patch. That can be used later for adding texture to your clay files.